All right, everyone, this is Ross. And in uh, today's video, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be transplanting into this cold frame bed, my first garden crops of the season. It's only February 23rd. My average last frost is May 1st. So to be able to do this so early is incredible. The soil in here is quite warm, um, especially compared to outside. This cold frame really raises those soil temperatures. Yeah, it raises the air temperatures, but uh, the soil is really where the money's at. Because the soil temperatures are so warm, transplanting these sugar snap pea transplants really is, uh, is not a bad idea. Getting them in the ground as soon as we can, giving them a longer season is gonna be really well worth it because these sugar snap peas don't like the warm weather and there's a lot of vegetables like that. So if you're thinking about growing some of these cool loving crops, you got to get them in the ground as soon as possible. When the soil is warm, it's thawed out. You have to make sure you're getting them in because you're just not going to have that length of your season before the summer comes. So for me, this is the time in this cold frame that I'm able to do this. Also, the sugar snap peas are a one time of the year crop. I can't get them to work in the summer. It's just too warm. In the fall, it doesn't work as either as well. So uh, it's either spring or nothing. And the spring crop usually happens around um, May and June. So at least here. So if I'm able to get them even earlier than that, that's even better. Once we get into June, the longest day of the year, things get really warm. Uh, the daylight changes and that triggers something in these plants and they start to die off or go to seed. So um, really important. To do this now, it's now or never, especially with the sugar snap peas. You can't do this in the fall. And there's still a lot of time out there for a lot of you guys. All I've done here is got myself, we seeded these about three weeks ago in these trays. It's 128 cells in here. And each cell has two sugar snap peas in it. So when I transplant these guys out of here, I should take one out of here for you guys on camera. So you come in here from the bottom and then you tug on the bottom and uh, loosen up the soil and then you slightly tug on the top and it just slides right out like this and uh, it's really that simple and you'll see here we have two sugar snap peas in the cell and what I've done is I've already made my holes measured this out I've prepared the bed I fertilized this a little bit I leveled it out, um, I weeded it, everything's good to go, made my holes four inches apart, and then we just plopped in a sugar snap pea into each hole. So it's uh, two plants per hole spaced four inches apart. The beauty of this variety here, it's Sugar Ann, it's a very early variety and it's a low growing variety. So it kind of, uh, you can put them really close together. You don't have to support them because if you put them close together, they support themselves and they grow into like this, almost like a ground cover of sugar snap peas. It's really beautiful. It's uh, very productive. It works out great. Um, had a lot of success doing it this way. The sugar snap pea, I want to talk about that for a minute, is my favorite garden vegetable. Out of all the garden vegetables, it's so, so good. I should say out of all the annuals, it's my favorite. Um, it's very sweet, it's very tender. You can eat them raw, you can cook them as well. Uh, they're wonderful. And the sugar snap pea is different in that it's not like a pea pod, right? A pea pod is like the, uh, the, uh, the pod of the peas without the peas. They're very small. Um, and it's not a shelling pea, so we're not getting these peas out of the shell and just cooking the peas like frozen peas. These are the pod and the pea in one, very sweet, incredibly good. It will change your mind on peas, I promise you. I want to thank everybody out there here for watching this one. Get yourself a cold frame, guys. Get yourself an early start to the season. I hope you guys are inspired. This is so, so easy. It really took me no time at all to get all this in here. Um, even all this stuff planted is really simple. Dig the hole, put it in the hole cover it a little bit with some soil not even going to water this in we're going to have a successful sugar snap pea crop i want to talk to everybody uh in the next next video thank you for watching check us out on fig boss facebook and instagram we'll see everybody soon take care guys